Hi, this is Chotsky Bell and I'd like to share with you today how I've set up and I'm using the Final Effects Personal Organizer in Nude Cream. I've had this for a couple of months now and I thought that I've used it sufficiently long enough for me to share with you how I feel about it. The setup is pretty minimalistic. I've got a 4 barreled Coletto pen, a friction pen, a memo pad from Muji and two clips. And over here, this is the flyleaf, the original flyleaf that came with it. I made a, um, a divider from scrapbooking paper. I haven't got it laminated because I don't have a laminator and also um, I'm quite fickle minded. I'm pretty sure I'm going to change it out pretty soon. So I've left it as it is. The way I use it is whenever I've got a grocery list or a shopping list that I need to access whilst I'm on the go, I'll just write it on a sticky memo pad and paste it here. Use the flyleaf to cover it and secure it with a magnetic clip so that it doesn't flap around. So that's the first page when you open up the file of facts. I've got some photos here. Um, photos of my husband, Jules, my cat and Mita, my Persian cat. And I've covered up this part because it contains personal info. Um, it's one of those, if found, please contact, blah, blah, blah. So I've covered it up. And hopefully, if in the event that I lose this, I hope that someone would be kind enough to return it to me. The next page is a running to-do list. It's, um, it lists down all the tasks that I need to do. Um, that cannot be done within a year, within a week or two or a day. So um, these are mainly boring stuff, household stuff. And then I've got this little cute cupcake divider, which I made myself. I made it using transparency sheets, which were about to be thrown out. Um, I thought I'd recycle them. So what I did was I traced out the, I hope you can see them, um, I've traced out the holes punched them and made slits in them so that I could easily take them out and put them, put them back in. This is the month on one page. Currently it's the month of August. Um, I don't decorate much um, for these pages and I don't use it very often. I don't refer to it very often. I only write down things like birthdays, um, public holidays, important events. Otherwise, all other information, I'll just record it into my weekly pages because those are the pages that I access um, the most within my file of facts. So to access my weekly pages, I'm currently using the week on two pages and I've also made this little bookmark. Um, it's a divider from transparency transparency sheet and I've pasted every week I've got a list of um, things that I need to do and most of the time I don't know which days um, I want to do them so I put them in a list and I'll paste it onto this divider so that I could easily see them and then I'll plan the days as I go along I like to decorate them, but I don't do as much decoration as I see um, other people do it. The thing I like most about this is the spaces. I feel that they're just the right size for me. Like I said, I have this running list, so whenever I've completed it, I'll just tick it off. And then if I'm, when I move on to the next week, what I'll do is to, I'll just remove this and I'll just paste it on any, um, any spot within these pages so that I know that I've completed them within this week and if I haven't finished um, the task, I'll just carry them forward. I like using page flags because it allows, a lot of, it allows me to have flexibility in my planning. Say, for instance, I want to give my cats a bath and I'm planning to do it on Saturday the 8th but it all depends on the weather on the weather if it's raining I can't give them a bath otherwise they will catch a cold so if I can't do it on Saturday I'll just have to shift it to the next week but in the event that I manage to do it what I'll do is I'll um, use glue tape and stick it down so that I know that I've completed it so that is the 
um, week on two pages. Next I have a, I don't know whether you can see this, um, I've got a little bulldog, French bulldog, yeah, French bulldog tab. Again, it's the same thing. Um, I made, I made it using transparency sheets. What I, I have here are expense sheets, which I got from Filofax. The um, finance inserts from them. We do our budgeting on a daily basis, so I've got things like um, each sheet will have um, a title. Like for this, it's transportation. Um, we don't have a car, so we rely on public transportation quite a lot, like taxis and buses. So we like to keep track of how much we're spending on transportation, um, on groceries, even dining out, um, entertainment such as watching movies or going to the theatre and things like that, our meals, um, personal shopping items, and bill payments as well. So I find that this is a very useful system. Um, I use the Filofax every single day. In the mornings, I'll check it to see what I need to do for the day. And at the end of the day, I will also write down all the expenses that um, we've, the expenses that we have we have incurred during the day. So, and then we have the tabs here. Um, these are personal information, so I shan't be showing you what's inside, um, but I will share with you, I use this page flex to make um, tabs. They're not laminated whatsoever, they're just pasted together. What's important is that you need to find um, page flags that are identical front and back. That means the shape has to be exactly the same and they'll work. So I've pasted them like this. Again, I haven't laminated it because if I don't like it, um, if it gets crumpled or anything like that, I'll just um, change it for, I'll just replace it. So that is what I have. Um, these are all personal pages, which I shan't show you. Um, but this is interesting, um, well, at least to me. I used another sheet of old transparency paper cut out some holes. Um, these are page flags. Um, the page flags come in little packets and I find them a little bit too bulky to carry around. So what I've done is I've taken them out and pasted them onto the fly leaf, sorry, the transparency, and I'll just take them from this page. And in the event that I finish any one of these, I'll just paste on new ones. So I quite like this idea. And over here, this is a pocket, um, which is not from Filofax, I think it's from Da Vinci, a Japanese brand. Um, if you're not familiar, these are um, the, um, this, this is a Singapore dollar, $10 denomination and $50 denomination. With last month, I had the No Spend July challenge, and it was difficult for me. And this month, for the... Um, for the month of August, because Hobonichi is going to be um, on sale, well, the new 2016 Hobonichi collection will be coming out soon in September, I thought I'd spend less this month and try and save up money for that. So this is the new system that I've created. Um, I put in a certain amount of money in here and I can use, I can use the money in here to buy whatever stationery I want as long as there is money. Once I run out of it, I can't buy any more stationery. So that's um, how I plan to do low spend August. And then I have this um, top top loading um, file effects pocket, which I put in my vouchers or discount coupons and things like that so that I'll remember to use them when I'm out and about. And I haven't got anything here, just um, a receipt. That is all that is within my file effects. I think I really like the setup for um, this file effects. I've heard of people looking for a planner piece. I think I found it, but again, that may be too soon to say. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you found it somewhat useful. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have a, a little envelope here. 
and inside I've got cute memo paper. Um, Sumiko Gurashi is my favorite. I've got washi stickers and some washi tape samples so that I could plan on the go. Otherwise, I'll just use whatever I have at home. So that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do or you, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I hope you like it enough to subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Please don't tell me to stop recording.